Oh, I, I did the thing where I muted myself. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, welcome again. <laughs> Wait, so did none of that get, that get recorded? No, no, not on my voice. You guys were going through. Uh, this is the kind of uh, top tier production you can expect. Excellent. Uh, at my channel. Yeah, we're not redoing this. But <laughs> just kind of just, just keep so, going. Yeah, yeah, just pretend that didn't happen. Like, I'm going to put timestamps in the video anyway when it goes on to YouTube. People are going to skip the intro anyway. It's fine. It's all good. But with that being said, I think we should just jump into the first video. The way this is going to work, already told you guys, I'm going to show these uh, fine gentlemen six videos. After each video, I ask them to guess which division it is. It's going to be all from this season, obviously. And then, so it's, and it's from official games only. So it is like actual games. Right, so the divisions are official. I'll hear no complaints there about whether or not it was like actually that division. And you get points. Uh, I'll keep track of it somehow. And you get five points for guessing it perfectly correct. You'll get three points for being one off, two points for being two off, and so on down there. I'm sure we won't be able to deal with the... We don't have to deal with you guys guessing it really wrong. I'm sure you'll get it all right. But with that being said, let's go. Right, you going first, Tiger, or am I going first? I don't mind. I'll go first. <laughs> okay. All right, sounds good. So we've got a soldier with the original on Snakewater. I mean, he's definitely got solid movement. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, it, it's gonna no, come back. It it's gonna come back. Yeah, it's it does that when I freeze it for a long time. It's back. Just. I love the uh, there you go. It's fine again. I, th I definitely don't think they're a load of straight away. I mean, he's clearly got good mechanics. Yeah. Like, I feel, you know, the way people play can be kind of questionable because especially in, like, not the top divs, people forget how to play TF2 when it's an official. What I also think as well might be another thing to look at is how the other people are playing around him as well. Can I give you a Yeah, true. Good? Yeah. And I think the team's definitely had a bit of coordination there. Yeah, he didn't even make it in there, but still one. Yeah, so he knows not to fucking just jump in and waste his life. He's actually coordinating with his, uh, his soldier. Right, boxes jump a bit. I mean, I'm glad we watched the first mid, because this is... <laughs> that was a very different mid. Yeah, that was a bit rough. Yeah, I mean, they've clearly got coordination. He's got good movement. Yeah. He's got good aim. He knows how to play his role as well. From what we can see. Mm. Yeah, bit of spam, sort of get out. That's good. Yeah. It's actually a lot harder than you think. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. Bit of a rough. I mean, there was some questionable decision making there. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That was kind of like me playing Roma, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but that's the thing though, it's like, in these games, like... You can have moments, like... Yeah. Personally, like, I, I don't get this, you know, from ETF 12 officials, but, you know, I know people still get, like, super nervous during ETF 12 officials and they just start panicking. Yeah, definitely a thing if you're not used to it, right? I don't really know why he did that. Yeah, yeah he went for the soldier. Like, he, he ignored the soldier and then he jumped into him. Knowing not to overcommit seems like what, at that point. Oh, oh I no. think he's out of rockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tragic. <laughs> Running out of rockets like that. You you don't you hate to see it. But alright. Uh yeah, Tiger, so you you're gonna have to guess first. You're allowed to guess uh, the same as your I think it's, I think for me it's either gonna be div one or prem. Maybe maybe like mid to low prem or like top div one. Judging by the other team as well, the other team didn't seem too bad either. Like, it wasn't just like a, someone sandbagging, I don't think. I'm gonna go Prem. I think Dib won. Alright, so... Got a lot of trust in this guy right off the bat. So, uh... I, so, Tiger, you went Prem. Starkey, you went Div 1. And the correct answer is Div 2. That was a Div 2 soul. Uh, there uh, you go. Yes. I can't remember who it is. Uh, I he actually... looked like he plays a lot of MGE. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think everyone does these days. Yeah, but you, you know how you just see like an MGE player? That was, that was it. That was the MGE game style. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's do the next one. So uh, that was three and two points a piece there. So let's go. It's losing. The demo man on Granary. Honestly, I've been playing this game for so long. I have no idea how you roll out on demo on Granary. Yeah, I, I, it's the one class I've played the least of. So. That first stick was not great. Yeah. It's gonna be the only demo man demo. Because, you know, not really I mean, he... I don't think there's anything different about like what div... doesn't matter what div you're playing in. You do the same shit on Granary as Demo Man. I think. One thing I noticed was that he was not conserving his ammo very well. Yeah, like he, no. his team obviously have like they have a, a commit plan, right? But he, by the time he was, his soldiers were going in, he only had like three stickies because he was like charging all the stickies. But then I don't know how to play demo, so what do I know? Mm. Also, the enemy team has a sentry on defense, so it's definitely like decently high. Yeah, yeah, heavy under sentry. Yeah, heavy under sentry. I mean, someone hit that air shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I've seen Prem demos not stick the point on last multiple I, I've, times, so you I've, know. <laughs> I've just noticed something which has, I think it's kind of given it away for me. Oh really? And it's to do with the other team. I think I might know who they're playing with because it's like something they've done. The, the few times I have watched them this season, they've done the same thing. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, I can't wait to see if you figure. And you're not it out. sharing your in the info with your boy. Ah, no, no, no. Do it. Is start to guess first. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of Elicor, watching it. Yeah, sort of. I don't know, no, I don't... I think Elicor would have been hit, mind you, he just, he's not really missing any pipes recently. But the mid, he kind of didn't aim like Elicor. Mm. Demo's definitely not a weak class, though. Yeah, so what's he trying to do now, you think? I mean, they both, yeah. The team's definitely got a game plan of like how they want to take the mids and everything like that. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's a higher div than the last one, definitely. I mean, he has a golden gun, he must be good. I'm pretty sure yeah, how it works. Exactly. Yeah, it must be Elicor. What's he doing? <laughs> Just admiring the sky after getting two kills. Right, so it's me first, right? Yes. Well, I mean, I, it's difficult to say because he's obviously he's better. He's a better demo than I am, but you know that's not saying much. Uh, so it's difficult for me to say. I'd say maybe like Prem. I, I'm just gonna go Prem. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah, All right. I I think it's Prem, and I'm I'm pretty sure they were going to be playing against um, what they called the Condogs team, because whenever they fucking die on last or they're on last, he typically goes crits. So I'm pretty sure it's uh, them against Nunya. I think they are Ooh. some a Prem team, uh, whatever Prem team. It might be Mac or something like that. I don't know. It's uh, I think you're right. I think it is actually against uh, against Nunya. Or global clan is that not what they're called? I can't remember. I'm not sure. But it's, yeah, I think I'm it's gonna, gonna But yes, this is Prem, and uh, this was Daga. Daga. Yeah. yeah, and from like I don't know week two or something. I I can't quite remember. But uh, good old five point for both of you getting it right. Well, there you go. Sticky last. Sticky last. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, it's it's like my pet peeve. It's like. Every team you know you play against, they have like some sick demo, and then you get to last, and they just don't stick it, and then you cap. Yeah, it's the both on defense thing to do and the attack. Game. Yeah, it's like literally demo one hundred and one. You sticky last. Yeah, it works at every division. It's, it's not impressive, but it really works. All right, let's do the next one. There's a scout also on granite. Oh, 
Are these all from this season? Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so immediately you can tell the movement is not great. Yeah. Like, it's it's harder for me to tell with, um, with Demoman. But, like, immediately it's like... As soon as he started running to mid, it's like he's just not very in control of. I think I think his the pair movement. of us would probably have like the better idea of this. Yeah. Because we've played the class like a lot. And it's like his positioning, like he just eats a rocket there. He's just standing on the low ground. He's not getting a buff. Yeah. And now he's lost. And he's running all <laughs> he the way back to last. All the way back to last. To get the resupply. Yeah, you can definitely tell he's. Uh... And he's like. Even like. He's like never he's... never grabbing a buff when he's got crit heals. Yeah. And, and he keeps using this stupid rap assassin, and no self-respecting player uses the rap assassin. <laughs> I, don't know. I always use it just because I can pretend I'm still a soldier, even though I'm on my worst class. But he's gonna get he's gonna get a fucking five k here now. Watch. Nope. Oh, no. Yeah, that. Yeah, no. Some, sometimes it's just how it goes. And it's like on the first mid, he just kind of lost the high ground immediately, and then just stood around waiting to die. Yeah. He doesn't like jump. Like, like I said, with the movement, he's. I don't know. I feel like this isn't a scout main playing scout. You know what I mean? Right. Mm. All right. Like not not once have I seen him jump or use a double jump to like get somewhere quick. He's gonna block mid. He's gonna block mid. He's he's waiting too long. He's not gonna block mid. Oh even... oh he wants the med. But the... oh god. The problem with this is usually the med run is past. Oh no, he's just gonna count. Oh no. Oh. Uh, he's no good on yeah, the I'm he's every no time he pulls out that rap assassin, I get even more angry. <laughs> it's like infuriating to watch him try and just hit 40 damage across the map. Right, so we've watched like four clips of him. I think he's done like 150 damage over them all. Right. Well, he got a kill there. Got a kill. I, say, I think some high level scouts do use the rap assassin, like the flank scouts, just because it's like free. Yeah, yeah, but no self-respecting scout uses the rap assassin. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's very just proof. Alone. It's just so yeah. It's like you work. see when he when he turned around and he did a double jump there. He was like so out of control. Like he didn't yeah. stray for anything. He just kind of had to vaguely dodge the corner. It's like little things like that. Because you know anyone can have a bad, you know, aim day or whatever. But yeah. it's like I don't, yeah, the I don't movement. This, I don't think this is down to aim. Yeah, it's purely him being in, like. Not so confident on the class. I wasted you. Right, you you ready to make a guess, Tiger? Uh, right. What are the two? Right. What are the two lowest divs? There's open, which is. Is it open and then low? Yes, it's open, and then low, mid. mid. Open, right? Okay. I'm gonna go probably open. All right. I like this. We're not even done with the videos, and you've already got this pegged down. I, I like it. It's very yeah. efficient. I think, I don't know. I, looking hey. at the players play as well, like, they're taking five men from one door, that sort of thing. Like, you can just tell it's not... They, they, are all, they all seem kind of new. Yeah, I was feeling open, but I don't know. Maybe just to be different, I'm going to go mid. I go mid? Okay. Oh, sorry, no, low. That's the one. The next one. Yeah. Okay, so, so open and low. And uh, the correct answer is open. I was an open scout. There you go. Making his first steps in the, the grand thing that is ET of 12. So, uh, did, I, did I go open or low? You, you went, went open. open. You got it right. Oh, all right, okay. Woo! So, uh, yeah, you're actually up a, a single point. So we move on to the next one. Let me find it. All right, there we go. Gonna be an on scale. Alright, I can. Okay, so they've got an idea how they want to play a mid, so this is already, I think, better than the last one. Yeah, I mean, he's pressuring the demo at the start, yeah. so he can't just spam out his team. And yeah, I, yeah. I see Prem Scout's not doing that. Yeah. So. I mean, I wouldn't say he really made a mistake there. It's no, just, he, he, he was just know. not in a good spot. I think, uh... Yeah. I'm already thinking, like, this could be Prem. Yeah, I think he could be, like, top level. Yeah, especially, like, how he was just playing that mid. He just basically didn't want to die. He wasn't... He just didn't want to waste his life or anything. Right. Always running behind. Yeah. 
He's no he's knowing not to take like fights that he probably won't win. He's just trying to pull people back. He's trying to get space for his team. But he's not overcommitting. He's uh Yeah, I like this. <laughs> he's got the winger script. Yeah. Yeah, he kn he knows the Yeah, I think this this could be Fram, I think. I feel like this could be me. I don't think you wouldn't do that, would you? Yeah. Probably wouldn't, no. <laughs> you didn't play this season, did you? No, I didn't. But you, I don't know, there's something about, like, the... It just kind of reminds me of myself. Yeah. I mean... It, yeah, I definitely... Oh, no, I wouldn't do that, never mind. No, I, I, think this, I think this is uh, Prem. Like, judging the way the, uh, the enemy team, like, sort of... A very common thing to do is for someone to go flank as the combo's leaving, and... Wait, he's got the Boston Basher missing. Are you sure this is a recent season demo? Yeah. Hmm. It's just the XA80. Oh, okay. Use last drop. Yeah, his team isn't just blindly Ubering in as well. Like they're actually taking space with Ubers without having to use. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not me. You, you wouldn't pull a fast one on me. <laughs> I'd never do that. Oh, I know, because I'm, I'm watching things that there's, he's doing certain things that I don't do. Yeah. Like, um, his use of the winger, like, I'd definitely not use the winger to try and finish people off like that. I'd need to, like, reload my scattergun and kill people. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Ooh, good shot. Yeah, th I think this is definitely crumb. Oh, never mind. No, I don't. I think it's, uh, mid. <laughs> <laughs> You know, maybe he's gonna do a boneheaded play any second now. I think anyone can do it at any point. <laughs> like there, it's like he could have chased the enemy players, but instead he doesn't know where everyone's gone, and all that matters is his medic stays alive. So he's just staying with his medic and like making sure that his medic is safe. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I definitely prem. Yeah, prem. Prem. All right, and uh, yeah, you're right, Saggy. This is you. Oh, it is me? Yeah, it is oh, you. okay, then, yeah. <laughs> so you had a good hunch there, and uh, this is actually you from uh, I-61. Okay. Uh, playing against Swift on Gollywash. Yeah, my movement was a little bit questionable at some points. Maybe it was early in the morning. I think it was one of the early yeah, nights. Nice. <laughs> I think what, one, the first thing I like really caught my attention was, like, when you were pressuring the demo, you actually shot the stickies as well. You didn't just, like, run away from them. I don't, yeah. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't realize, you know, actually shooting one sticky can give you a lot of space and stuff like that. Yeah, it was weird. It was like I was watching myself and I was disagreeing with the decisions I made. <laughs> like uh, trying to finish people off the winger. I don't normally do that. Right, yeah. I don't know. You probably call it like super duper weak, right? So you just wanted to get a Yeah, but even then, it's just you, you've used the scat gun. I disagree with my past self. Uh, you've grown as a person. Exactly. Yeah. And a player. All right, let's move on. Next one. Well, if that one was me, this one's Tiger. Then, do you have a festive winger? No, I've never had a festive winger. Half of my hammer over one point actually. Well, that kind of looked like me. I mean, I probably wouldn't do that again, right? You wouldn't do it twice in a row. You'd never do it twice in a row. Oh no, they, they've obviously got strong DM straight away. Well, they're confident in what they're doing. The control point is being contested. Yeah, and the other team is smart backing off as well. I'm yeah. feeling this is this is high level. Right. We've got the funny flame no, drawer. That, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this is Gaz. <laughs> yeah, who uses the funny flame thrower? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what that one's called. I feel like it shows discipline to not stay pyro there. Yeah. And to even go pyro in the first place. Like, especially like, I don't know, maybe things have changed since I've not been playing, but like, European Viaduct is terrible. Like, yeah. really low level. And. The idea to even be coordinated enough to actually get a forward hold going is already indicative that it's Prem, to be honest. Oh, wow. It's really... I mean, it's so messy. I've, I've played in, like, lower-than-Prem Viaduct. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Straight oh, away with me watching this, I I have a hunch that he might be Gaz because it looks kind of like how Nerd Rage like to do the holds and stuff like that from what I played with him ages ago. Or played against him. Sorry. I like that he's holding pretty far forward. Here. Yeah, he, I mean he's getting info. Like there's no reason not to fucking just stand on the rock. You can always move back. Probably. Like even with the forward holds, like you have a scout and a demo on the cliff. Like, it's like pretty fucking set in stone. That's what people do in Prime now. Oh my oh, god, where's his medic going? What what is going on? <laughs> They're getting back capped as well. Honestly, their back cap's pretty useful for them though. Yeah. Yeah, they just lead the spawn. Yeah, this guy's a bit of a beast. Yeah, kind of hitting. He's got a good aim. Oh, they're delaying the spawn. They know. Yeah, it's Prem straight away. <laughs> I'm going Prem. Going Prem again? Yeah, yeah Prem. Alright, no hesitation there. And uh, That was not Prem. That was actually. Was it not? No, it was Div 1. So oh, close. there you go then. Yeah. Oh, was it like Pool Scary or something? It was a uh, blank. Uh, the ah. scout. Right. Okay. Someone in chat beast. called it. Yeah. Oh, are we uh, streaming live. Yes. Well, there you go then. Yeah. So I think it was Mac that called it, and yeah, good call. I don't know how he immediately spotted it was blank. I, I don't understand. <laughs> did I? Did he cheat somehow? I'm not sure. I don't know. There you guy's go. a nerd. All right, let's uh, do the last one. This is decided. We're both even, right? Yeah. I should have gone open on that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, no. Tiger's ahead by one point. Oh. Uh, I could be really, really gay and just go with whatever Stark says and guarantee the win. Yeah, but that's not fun, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's cool you need to some be right. jeopardy. Yeah. I mean, we could also just change the rules and say you guess first because you're ahead. <laughs> um, it's I can't. I don't know what to say straight away about this because it's. Kind this guy's of... sense looks really low. Are you seeing this? Maybe yeah. it's just the demo. Beast, he's get. Oh no, he doesn't know the hiding. Right, okay. So this no, this really not, shows a lot that he's snake looking got for hiding. The, the snake water got updated. Yeah, there's a rock. Oh right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this is. I feel. Oh, he got owned. Oh. If you're looking for hiding spots during your ETF 12 official, you have not done your homework. It's unfair. The map got updated. <laughs> uh, I mean, surely he's played it since then. Yeah, yeah you'd think so. Yeah. I feel like he's not really looking around a lot as well. He's just like, when he went lower there, if, if that was me, I'd still be looking at above, you know? Even He looks like he plays ammo mod. Yeah, he's just, he's like so fucking focused on what the fuck. Ooh, he got the net. <laughs> he did a sink jump there. Yeah. I mean, he's clearly got like decent mechanics. Yeah, he's just not He's just a little bit, you know how sometimes you watch people and they're just a little bit strange. Like, what they yeah. do is just a little bit odd, and it makes you feel uncomfortable to watch. Right. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I don't know whether it's just something that I do, and I kind of f think it's weird that other people don't. It's like, when I'm just moving around the map, I don't just, like, look at one fucking doorway. But yeah, like, he, he... high sense, I always look around a lot, you know? Just in case you might catch something. Oh, yeah, I mean, even I do that, and I have very low sense on Scout, yeah. and I would be looking around more than this. Going for a play, then no. no right? No. Nah. He wants an arrow and he's gonna jump in. Never mind. Looking at the last setup as well. Like, like this, look, look, no look, look where he's standing. Yeah, there's no gun, they've got a sniper. I, I, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be high level. I mean, my first thought was mid. Yeah, that's what mine was as well. Like, when he did that jump, I understand he wants to go to Balk, but surely you would look at the bridge as well, just in case there's someone, I don't know. 
I mean, when you're behind and they don't know, it's the, the important question is like, when do I jump and make the noise? Also, yeah, that was a very sad mid. That was, that was a lovely mid. Yeah, sad mid to end us off there. So it's like, if you're behind and you know they don't know you're there, like you, you just walk around. You walk around until you find the opportunity, and then you give away your position. And but you make sure that you actually know where the enemy med is. Yeah, probably would have made. I'm going to say that was Tiger. <laughs> yeah. I hope not. <laughs> uh, wait, who's? Do you want me to go first? Because I'm in front. Or yeah, do it. Sure, or, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go mid. I mean, I can't go mid then. So I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Low seems too too low yeah. though. I, I might go div. I might go div two actually. I'm gonna go for div two. Yeah. If I wasn't gonna go mid, I would have gone div two. But I just think. I don't know. I think you'd be a bit more aware if you're in mid, even still. Uh, in Div 2, sorry. Yeah. Alright. It was indeed mid. So, there you go. Well done, Tiger. You you actually nailed it on the last one. Hey. There was no way that could have won that. And you kind of felt like it was mid too, I could feel, from what you were saying. Like... Yeah, he's like, he's obviously, you know, he knows what he's doing, but it's just, there's just something off with the movement and the aim. Yeah, yeah. I think mean, for me it was always the awareness. Like I don't know. It just there was just something about how he everything he had everything he was doing, he couldn't do it with you know, whilst multitasking, like maybe checking something else. Like if he was going to get a health pack, he was staring at the health pack, that sort of stuff. Right. So he just tunnel vision too much. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. On what he was doing. And then did that. That's that's a, some pretty good advice, I feel like. Just look around more. Be more aware. Well, it's like you don't need to look at things if you already know where they are. Yeah, yeah. If you know what I mean, like you've yeah. played, you've played Snake Water five million times. You know where the health packs are. Like you look to yeah. see that it's there, and then you don't need to look at it anymore. You then, then you're looking at the doors to see if anyone's coming for you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right. Well, uh, there you go. These guys, they haven't been in the scene for a while, but they still. Are pretty good at their guessing divs, I guess. Uh, 22 and 25 points, that's very respectable. I can't remember how that ranks you amongst other people, but I think you did pretty well. Just, uh, just guessing. I think you both did better than, like, active players. So, um, Especially since we didn't actually know what the divs were, we had yeah. to be on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm sure each of us is going to change what the divs are at some point. So yeah, there you go. So, yeah, Lots of high ranked players, and you didn't give yourself too much shit. That's always a win in your book, Stocky, I think, feel like. You know? I mean, I, I recognize myself, so that's one thing. Yeah. <laughs> you knew not to be too mean. I'm just surprised I didn't reckon, because obviously me and Stark both played on pretty much like the same team on the same role. Right. I, I didn't notice anyone else on the team, you know, because like I said, I was watching other people playing and stuff like that. Mm. I didn't notice, because obviously I think when he was playing Scout at I-6, he was... Draken captain, right? Uh, I so, yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, usually you, if I am was on that team, I'd probably recognize how they're still playing, or even if we play with them now, you'd probably still know what they're going to do. I didn't notice anything about that team. It was kind of weird. The one thing that really made me say, is this me, was um, I do a jump from big door, and then I jump on the wooden on the thing. Without... Yeah. Yeah, I always do that. Like, if you jump from the same spot, you have to you perfectly land on the wooden thing. And you don't have to crouch or anything. And I never see anyone else doing that. And I, so as soon as I did that, I was like, "This definitely looks like me." Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming on. I'm gonna just shut it off now because I have to be up at like 4:30 tomorrow morning. Good times. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys had had fun. Enjoyed. Yeah, this. it was good. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's good seeing you guys again. Always fun to have uh, some old legends in here. And uh, with that, I'm going to take us out. So uh, hope you, everyone watching had a good time and you managed to guess some, some of them as well. And with that, good night. Good night. See ya.